Number three, assuming each pair of half reactions below takes place in an acidic solution, write a balanced equation for the overall reaction. Okay, so then we have two half reactions here. Seems like we have Ag yields Ag plus plus one electron, right? E minus just means that it's a electron. And then we have M MnO4 minus plus 4H plus plus 3 electrons yields MnO2 plus 2H2Os. Now, instead of trying to do this problem by looking at it from left to right, what I like to do is I like to stack these equations on top of each other. And it doesn't matter which one goes on top and which one goes on the bottom. So I'll just put the Ag yields Ag plus. So that's the silver. And then I have just one electron right? And then I have MnO4, that's a minus sign, plus 4H plus, plus three electrons, three E minus, will yield MnO2 plus two H2O. Okie dokie. And then let me just maybe space this out a little bit. Beautiful. So the first thing that we have to do is just make sure that all the elements are balanced. So just quickly, I have one silver on the left side. I have one silver on the right side. I am not taking into consideration any electrons because those aren't elements. I'm only looking at the elements right now. I have one manganese. I have one manganese. I have four oxygens here. And I have two oxygens plus two two oxygens, so two plus two is four, so that checks out. And then I have a total of four hydrogens on this side, and I have four hydrogens on this side. So the elements are all good. Now, the next thing, if I want to make this into one equation, meaning I wanna just add them together, the thing is, is that we never see electrons in equations, right? They're always like canceled out, meaning, that if we want to cancel them out, they have to be the same number. If we want to get that overall reaction, always the electrons are the same on both sides. So the electrons are balanced. So now I'm just zoning in on those electrons. I do see that there's no coefficient in front of this one. That just means that there's one and there's three electrons here. I have to use multiplication to get them to be the same number. So since three is larger than one, maybe I can take the first equation and times it by something so that I can get it to be the other electron number. One times what will get you three? You're absolutely correct, it's three. So I'm gonna take this whole equation and times it by three. Now let me just bring this down because Whenever you do that, you just have to be fair. You have to times each one by that number. And it's only the coefficients that are going. So technically, we only had one AG in front of these, right? So one times three is now three AG. So I have three AG yield three AG plus. And then now I have three times one. So now I have three electrons. And once I write that new equation, this one is now void. I don't even care about this one anymore. And now I'm just working on these two. And now we're good because, oh, I didn't want to get rid of the three. I just wanted to get rid of the, there we go. Now the electrons are balanced. I have three electrons on my top equation. I have three electrons on my bottom equation. So we're all good to go here. Let's add and Combine the two together. Since they are the same, remember they just cancel, so I don't even care about them. Just making sure that nothing else is similar on opposite sides, but there's nothing. So I'm just gonna group together all of my reactants and all of my products with just one yield sign. It does not matter which one you state first. That doesn't matter. So just as long as you have all the reactants on one side. So maybe I'll just put you know, from top to bottom, I'll say three AG, three AG plus MnO4 minus plus the four H plus, so that was all from the left side, yields everything that's on the right side. So three AG 
plus plus an MnO2 plus two H2O. And now you are done. And they said that it was an acidic solution. Acidic solution means that you leave the H pluses alone if you have any. And since we have H pluses, I don't have to do anything with that. So this is the final answer. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you're having a great day out there. All right. Thank you for being part of this community. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.